back now on uh, Try It Today. I'm with two of my favorite people in the whole world. And uh, next to me, uh, Lori Bates, let's, let's meet him, our director, Lori Bates. Next to me, of course, the infamous David Daggett, who is attorney with the uh, Daggett Shuler Law, has his name right there on the law firm. Next to him, somebody else has his name attached to this firm, <laughs> Griff Shuler. Welcome, gentlemen. Good to see you. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate you having us. We're going to talk about, all kidding aside, we're going to talk about something that doesn't get discussed enough. We see ads about Social Security disability, 30 seconds here and there, you guys and other competitors. Right. It really doesn't get discussed that much, and it's a serious topic. Um, what is, David, let me start with you, what is Social Security disability, if you can explain it? Sure. Well, there's a lot of misconceptions about Social Security disability. Social Security disability is an insurance policy that you have and I have and we all have if we're out working. The premium is paid through our FICA deduction. Okay. That's a premium just like with any other insurance policy. So we policy. paid into it. We've paid into it. It's an insurance policy just like any other insurance policy that you have except this one's with the government. Yeah. And what this insurance policy says is that if you are disabled and unable to work, you're entitled to collect your benefits. The misconception is, and politicians unfortunately have smeared this, that Social Security disability is welfare. Yeah. It's not welfare. Because Griff, I've heard uh, somebody one time, like David said, it's, oh, it's a handout thing, but it's not. It's not a handout at all. And actually, when David and I hear that, it really upsets us because these are, these are folks that have paid into the system. They're disabled. They can't work. Uh, a lot of times, they've, they've continued to try to work uh, through their, their disability. Um, and then when it comes time for them to need to go on Social Security Disability, uh, they're, they're treated like they're trying to go on welfare. And they've put into the system, uh, it's an insurance benefit program, exactly like David said. Do I have to become disabled at work? Because sometimes we've talked about workman's no. compensation, so no. this is different. You no, can be... no, no, it's, it's, it's just disabled and unable to work. To work. And, and most of the people that we deal with, they try to battle they through it. They want to stay at work. They're good, hardworking people yeah. like you and me and the yeah. people listening. Right. And, but when you can't, you're entitled to those benefits that you've been paying for all these years. But if I'm and Jim, one thing I think is important is, is I think sometimes people uh, think that, that people are choosing and want to go on Social Security Disability because it's somehow better than working. The, the average person is only getting $1,200 a month, month. Uh, in benefits. And yet so many of them get denied, which is why they need you guys. Exactly. And, and so if I've, if I've become disabled, I can't work, I file for a claim and I get denied or something, and I get, oh man, this is upsetting, I'm all depressed, I sh why should I call you guys? Well, because an individual gets denied most of the time, and they don't know the ins and outs and how to get through all the red tape in the system, in order to win those benefits. In, in fact, uh, for most people, um, it would be good for them to go ahead and contact an experienced attorney from the very beginning, even before they apply. I think one misconception with people is, is they think, well, I'm going to apply the first time, and if I get denied, then I'll contact an attorney. If you get an attorney before you even apply, the attorney can help you to be able to, to kind of set up your, your case and get things going from the very, very beginning. I didn't think about that. That's a good point. Uh, one question before we run out of time I want to ask you. How long of a process is it? I become disabled. I, let's say I do what you said, and I call you guys first. And I say, look, I, I want to file this claim, and you help me. Say, so, okay, we're going to help you. Well, how, what kind of a timetable were you on before I can actually start getting some benefits? Well, that varies, but unfortunately, the federal government and the politicians have put so much red tape in the way, the stumbling blocks, it can take 12 to 18 months before you get your hearing, uh, which is almost obscene. It's very right. hurtful. Gosh. to somebody who's got a family and other responsibilities. I didn't realize that. So there's really no remedy. You just have to hang in there, get the attorney, and fight it, right? Well, the, the attorney can fight through it and can shorten the time, but still, it's a long time. Very serious topic, and I'm glad you guys explained it to, to me. Let's go to the website, daggettshuerlaw.com, and if you want to, you don't go to websites, and you want, you're old-fashioned like me, and you want to call, the number is 724 all of that is up on screen, can give you information about what we discussed, but also can get you to these guys and their staffs more quickly. Gentlemen, thanks for explaining this very important topic, and thanks for all you do for the community. Thanks for having us, Jim. All right, guys, yeah, thanks. All right, Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. We'll be right back after this.